Hello recruits, Cosmic Crow MC here. After getting settled into my senior year of high school, I took some time to work on Enter the Backrooms, and now I'm here to tell you about the first beta for release version 4 of Enter the Backrooms, or R4 Beta 1 for short. In this beta, I've added a new system of generation to Enter the Backrooms, sublevels. These are patches of rooms that generate within normal levels. They are mostly visual, but some of them affect your gameplay in ways that I won't be describing in this video. There are 28 sublevels that have been added in this beta. I don't want this video to get too long, so I'll stick to screenshots of the sublevels. Here they are. Level 0 has 4 new sublevels the Red Rooms, Wood Rooms, Pillar Rooms, and Dark Rooms. Level 1 has 4 new sublevels Level 1.5, Hallways, Pillar Rooms, and Rubble Rooms. Level 2 has 4 new sublevels, including Pipe Rooms, Grid Rooms, Wide Halls, and one with a tall ceiling. Level 2's generation has also been redone to be more efficient, meaning it will be slightly different now. Level 3 has 4 new sublevels Dark Rooms, Grid Halls, Pipe Rooms, and Gated Halls. Level 4 has 4 new sublevels as well, including Low Ceilings, Construction Rooms, Table Rooms, and Pillar Rooms. Level 5 didn't receive any sublevels in this beta, however, I do plan on giving level 5 an upgrade later. Level 6 has 4 new sublevels Pillar Rooms, Pantries, which are a substitute for level 6.1. Long halls and thin areas. Level 7 has two new sublevels pipe rooms and one with a tall ceiling. Level 8 has two new sublevels open areas and webbed shafts. Before trying out the new generation, you should expect to see a lot of missing geometry in bugged generation. The new generation system has some flaws, and I'll do my best to fix these going forward. One last thing to note. Finnish translations were also added in today's beta. That's everything I have for you. I think these sublevels make exploration much more interesting, and I still have plenty of sublevels I'll add in the next beta. Before I go, if you'd like the chance to discuss the game, make suggestions, and stay up to date on the game's development, make sure to check out a link to the Discord in the description below. I'm so happy to be working on a release version 4. Like version 3, it's going to be a very big update, and I can't wait to continue its development. I'll be back soon. Goodbye, recruits!